Looking to ace your mechanical fitter interview? This video covers essential mechanical fitter interview questions and answers to help you prepare effectively. We'll discuss common questions, such as what are the different types of fit in engineering? And how do you ensure precision in your work? Learn how to showcase your skills, experience, and problem-solving abilities to potential employers. Perfect for both beginners and experienced fitters, our tips and sample answers will give you the confidence you need to succeed. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more career tips and interview guidance. Question number one, what is the primary role of a mechanical fitter? Answer, the primary role of a mechanical fitter is to assemble, install, maintain, and repair mechanical systems and machinery. This includes interpreting technical drawings, aligning and fitting parts, and ensuring all machinery operates efficiently and safely. Question number two, what tools are commonly used by mechanical fitters? Answer, common tools used by mechanical fitters include wrenches, hammers, screwdrivers, pliers, measuring tools, like calipers and micrometers, torque wrenches, and power tools such as drills and grinders. Question number three, explain the importance of alignment in mechanical fitting. Answer. Proper alignment is crucial in mechanical fitting because misaligned components can lead to excessive wear, vibration, noise, and potential failure of machinery. Ensuring components are correctly aligned increases the longevity and efficiency of the machinery. Question number 4. How do you ensure the safety of yourself and others while working as a mechanical fitter? Answer. Safety can be ensured by wearing appropriate personal protective equipment, PPE, such as gloves, safety glasses, and hearing protection following all safety protocols, conducting regular safety inspections, and maintaining a clean and organized work area. Question number 5, what is the purpose of a torque wrench and how is it used? Answer, a torque wrench is used to apply a specific amount of torque to a fastener, such as a bolt or nut. It ensures that the fastener is tightened to the correct specification, preventing over-tightening or under-tightening, which can cause equipment failure. Question number 6, can you explain what a bearing is and its function in machinery? Answer, a bearing is a mechanical component that allows constrained relative motion between two parts, typically rotational or linear. Its function is to reduce friction between moving parts and support radial and axial loads. Question number 7, describe the process of installing a new piece of machinery. Answer, installing new machinery involves several steps, reviewing the technical drawings and specifications, preparing the installation site, ensuring it is clean and suitable, positioning the machinery using lifting equipment if necessary, aligning and securing the machinery with bolts and fasteners, connecting any necessary electrical, hydraulic, or pneumatic systems, conducting a thorough inspection and testing to ensure proper operation. Question number 8, what is the difference between preventive maintenance and corrective maintenance? Answer, preventive maintenance involves regular, planned maintenance activities designed to prevent equipment failures before they occur such as lubrication, cleaning, and parts replacement. Corrective maintenance is performed after a fault or failure has occurred to restore the equipment to operational condition. Question number 9, how do you interpret a mechanical drawing? Answer, interpreting a mechanical drawing involves understanding the various symbols, dimensions, and notes that convey information about the parts and assembly. It includes identifying views, for example, top, front, side, understanding tolerances, and recognizing the material specifications and surface finish requirements. Question number 10, what steps do you take when troubleshooting a mechanical issue in a machine? Answer, troubleshooting a mechanical issue typically involves, observing and understanding the symptoms of the problem, isolating the specific component or system that is malfunctioning, checking for common issues such as loose connections, misalignment, or wear and tear, using diagnostic tools to pinpoint the exact cause, Repairing or replacing the faulty components. Testing the machinery to ensure the issue is resolved. Question number 11. What are the key responsibilities of a mechanical fitter? Answer. The key responsibilities of a mechanical fitter include assembling and installing mechanical components, performing routine maintenance, diagnosing and fixing mechanical issues, reading and interpreting technical drawings, and ensuring machinery is aligned and operates efficiently. Question number 12. Which safety precautions should a mechanical fitter follow while working? Answer, safety precautions include wearing appropriate PPE, such as gloves, safety glasses, and ear protection, following safety protocols, ensuring machinery is powered off before maintenance, keeping the work area clean, 
and adhering to lockout slash tagout procedures. Question number 13. How do you align machinery components during installation? Answer. To align machinery components, use precision tools such as dial indicators, levels, and alignment lasers. Adjust the components until they meet the alignment specifications detailed in the technical drawings or manuals, and secure them in place to maintain alignment. Question number 14. What is the purpose of using lubricants in mechanical systems? Answer. Lubricants reduce friction between moving parts, which minimizes wear and tear, prevents overheating, and extends the life of the mechanical components. They also help in preventing corrosion and contaminants from entering the machinery. Question number 15. How do you use a micrometer? Answer. To use a micrometer, place the object to be measured between the anvil and the spindle. Rotate the thimble until the object is gently secured. Read the measurement from the scale on the sleeve and thimble, adding the values together to get the final dimension. Question number 16. Explain the difference between a bearing and a bushing. Answer. A bearing is a mechanical component that allows for smooth rotation or linear movement between parts, typically reducing friction. Bearings are often used in high load applications and can handle both radial and axial loads. A bushing, on the other hand, is a type of bearing that provides a surface for sliding, commonly used for pivot points and in low load applications. Question number 17. What is a hydraulic system, and how does it work? Answer. A hydraulic system uses fluid under pressure to transmit power. It consists of components such as pumps, cylinders, valves, and fluid reservoirs. When the fluid is pressurized by the pump, it moves through the system, generating force that can be used to move or control mechanical components. Question number 18. Describe the process of conducting a preventive maintenance check on machinery. Answer. Preventive maintenance involves shutting down and securing the machinery, inspecting components for wear, leaks, or damage, cleaning parts and lubricating moving elements, replacing worn or faulty parts, testing the machinery to ensure it operates correctly and safely after maintenance. Question number 19. What is the function of a torque wrench, and how is it used? Answer. A torque wrench is used to apply a specific torque to a fastener, ensuring it is tightened to the manufacturer's specifications. To use it, set the desired torque on the wrench, attach it to the fastener, and apply force until the wrench clicks or signals that the preset torque has been reached. Question number 20. How do you interpret and use technical drawings? Answer. Interpreting technical drawings involves understanding the various views, top, front, side, dimensions, tolerances, and notes. It requires identifying parts, their relationships, and assembly instructions. Using these drawings, you can accurately assemble, align, and install mechanical components as specified. Question number 21. What is the importance of calibration in mechanical fitting? Answer. Calibration ensures that measuring instruments and tools are providing accurate readings. This is essential for maintaining the precision and reliability of mechanical assemblies and ensuring that components fit and function correctly. Question number 22. How do you perform a leak test on a hydraulic system? Answer. To perform a leak test on a hydraulic system, visually inspect all connections and hoses for signs of leakage. Pressurize the system and use a leak detection fluid or an electronic leak detector to identify any leaks. Repair or replace any defective parts and retest to ensure no leaks remain. Question number 23. What steps would you take to troubleshoot a misalignment issue in a conveyor system? Answer. Steps include, inspecting the entire conveyor system for signs of wear or damage. Checking the alignment of the rollers and adjusting as necessary. Ensuring the conveyor belt is tensioned correctly. Verifying that the conveyor frame is level and square. Running the conveyor to confirm the alignment issue is resolved. Question number 24. What types of materials are commonly used in mechanical fittings and why? Answer. Common materials include steel, for its strength and durability, aluminum, for its lightweight and corrosion resistance, brass, for its corrosion resistance and machine ability, and plastics, for their chemical resistance and flexibility. The choice of material depends on the application requirements such as strength, weight, and environmental resistance. Question number 25. Describe the process of assembling a gearbox. Answer. The process includes, cleaning all components to remove any debris or contaminants. Following the technical drawings to position and install bearings, gears, and shafts in the correct order. Lubricating components to ensure smooth operation. Aligning and securing the housing covers. Testing the assembled gearbox to ensure it operates smoothly and without any unusual noises. Question number 26. 
How do you ensure precision when installing components? Answer. Precision is ensured by using accurate measuring tools such as calipers, micrometers, and dial indicators. Following the technical specifications and tolerances provided in the drawings, double-checking measurements, and making fine adjustments as necessary also contribute to precise installations. Question number 27. What is the role of a gasket in mechanical systems? Answer. A gasket provides a seal between two mating surfaces to prevent the leakage of fluids or gases. It is essential in maintaining pressure and preventing contamination between different sections of a mechanical system. Question number 28. Explain the importance of proper torque application in bolted joints. Answer. Proper torque application ensures that bolts are tightened to the correct tension, which prevents loosening due to vibrations, avoids overstressing and damaging the bolts or components, and ensures the joint can withstand the operational loads and pressures. Question number 29. What are the signs of wear in a mechanical component, and how do you address them? Answer. Signs of wear include unusual noises, increased vibration, excessive heat, visible damage or deformation, and reduced performance. Addressing wear involves inspecting and identifying the worn components, replacing or repairing them, and investigating the root cause to prevent future occurrences. Question number 30. How do you maintain pneumatic systems? Answer. Maintenance of pneumatic systems includes, regularly checking and replacing air filters, inspecting hoses and connections for leaks or damage, ensuring proper lubrication of moving parts, testing the pressure and flow rates to ensure they meet specifications. Cleaning and replacing any clogged or worn components to maintain system efficiency.